A major part of learning new words is to use them as soon and as often as possible. In reality, that doesn't always happen, does it? So the purpose of this video is to remind and review with you what the past 15 words were, what their basic definitions are, and an example sentence of how each word is used that can add greater depth and meaning to your ability to understand and properly use them while communicating at a higher level. The first word is petulant. Petulant is when someone is behaving, speaking, or acting rude to others in a childish or irritable manner. When petulant is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Young teenagers who try to get what they want by being petulant will learn that their whining and complaining will quickly be ignored by strong-willed adults. The second word is conscientious. Conscientious implies a desire to perform a task well, with a high regard in doing so, with a set of standards or rules that are clear in what is right and what is wrong. When conscientious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. As a hardworking, conscientious, honest teacher, I am passionate about offering my students better ways to succeed and reach their goals. The third word is appease. Appease is to make concessions to someone, to a critic, or a group, often at the sacrifice of your own principles, to bring about a state of calmness, peace and quiet, or contentment, perhaps even out of the fear of being hurt. When appease is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The politician was known to quickly change her stance on any issue to appease her supporters. The fourth word is perplexing. Perplexing is something that is confusing, puzzling, or concealed through deception, whether on purpose or just by not understanding of what it is or means. When perplexing is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Of all the perplexing problems we face today, which one is the most important for you to learn more about? The fifth word is condescending. Condescending is to put someone down by showing superiority or being patronizing to them by talking down to them. When condescending is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The newly hired employee stated, I'm inexperienced, not stupid, so please don't be so condescending to me. The sixth word is indelible. Indelible is something that is permanent and lasting, that is difficult to wash away, cancel, delete, forget, or remove, such as ink from a pen. When indelible is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. You should use an indelible ink pen for your handwritten final essay. The seventh word is resilient. Resilient is to be capable of recovering quickly from a sudden unpleasant event, such as an injury or unfortunate event. When resilient is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The resilient team came back to win the game after losing their best player. The eighth word is acquiescent. Acquiescent is when someone is willing to accept, agree, or react to something without objection or protest that can sometimes be perceived as weakness. When acquiescent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The politician was well known for being too acquiescent to the demands of special interest money and the lobbyists' influence. The ninth word is abhorrent. Abhorrent is when there is a strong dislike, hatred, or disgust towards something based on beliefs, values, and or moral reasons. When abhorrent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. After losing many friends over her past comments, she realized how abhorrent her words were and deleted all of the offensive content. The tenth word is ambivalent. Ambivalent is to have mixed feelings or differing ideas about something or someone. When ambivalent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The survey found that 51% of those interviewed were either ambivalent or not interested in the subject being asked. The eleventh word is conniving. Conniving is when someone designs secret plans to conspire to do something immoral, illegal, or harmful to or against other people. When conniving is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. She's a conniving, heartless, arrogant politician. The twelfth word is egregious. Egregious is something that is shocking, flagrant, outstandingly very bad and or offensive. When egregious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The egregious actions of a few people brought the loudest voices against the entire movement that led to the investigation of its leaders. The thirteenth word is eradicate. Eradicate is to completely destroy something or get rid of it permanently. When eradicate is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Scientists are trying to eradicate the disease from ever occurring again. The fourteenth word is fortuitous. Fortuitous is when something happens by chance, luck, coincidence, or by accident, usually with a favorable or a beneficial outcome. When fortuitous is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. 
He laughed to himself as he realized how lucky he'd been that the simple accident had such fortuitous results in avoiding a real catastrophe. The 15th word is vacuous. Vacuous is something that is lacking content, empty, or showing a lack of intelligence, ideas, or feelings. When vacuous is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. She's perfected laughing when confronted with hard questions, projecting an attitude of vacuous concern for whatever the topic is. Make sure to go back and watch the individual Power Word videos that you need the most to work on and review the rest of the information to be able to use it as soon and as often as possible. The links to all of those words are listed down in the description below to save you the time from having to search around for them. What's your top three favorite words that you've been using or plan to use? Leave that answer in the comments below too. And remember that my goal is that your success is the goal. I'll see you online soon.